after this. At M. Goss. Check it out. OK. So what we have in this example is negative 9 pi over 4. Um, and what we just want to do is evaluate for cosine. Now again, guys, I don't really want to graph all of negative 9 pi over 4 because I know that's, that is already over one revolution of a series. So what I want to do is say, can I find a coterminal angle? And yes, I can add or subtract 2 pi, and that will give, give me a smaller positive and negative angle. So I'm not going to want to subtract a 2 pi from negative 9 pi over 4. That's just going to give me a larger negative angle. So what I'll do is I'll take negative 9 pi over 4, and I'll add 2 pi. Now again, guys, when you're adding 2 pi, you have to have, when you're adding a fraction to a whole number, you have to have common denominators. So you can multiply by 4 over 4, right? Or you guys can just go on with the understanding that 2 pi is the same thing as 4 pi, uh, I'm sorry, as far as 8 pi over 4, All right? It's the same thing. So let's add 8 pi over 4. And therefore, that's just going to equal the cosine of negative pi over 4. So now I need to figure out what's negative pi over 4. Well, going back to my first quadrant, I know that this angle, which is 45 degrees, is the same thing as pi over 4. And this point on the unit circle is square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. So if I'm looking at negative pi over 4, All it is is that's going to be that angle just reflected in the, in the fourth quadrant. So therefore, my y is just going to be negative. However, I'm just trying to figure out the cosine. So therefore, that just the cosine is the x-coordinate. So it's just going to be square root of 2 over 2. OK? That's it. Done, son. All right.